الحمد للہ رب العالمین و صلاۃ وسلام علیہ رسول نبی الکریم الامین ریسپیکٹیڈ آڈینس ود دی گریس آف اللہ المائٹی وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ریچ تجوید ٹوڈے اینڈ تجوید لیٹ می ٹیل یو ون تھنگ دیٹ تجوید از اے ویری واسٹ ٹاپک بٹ آئی ول ٹیچ یو تجوید ان اے ویری سمپل اینڈ ایزیسٹ وے دیٹ وی ول کمپلیٹ تجوید ان شاء اللہ ان آلموسٹ تھری لیکچرس so and in very simple way this is not formal way the way i will adopt would not be formal rather i have created a shortcut for you to learn tajweed quickly without any ambiguity without any burden you will feel that tajweed is very simple thing so let's first see that what is tajweed we need to learn uh, we need to know about a little uh, a brief introduction of tajweed So tajweed is derived from Arabic word jawada yujawidu which means to make something beautiful to make something beautiful جب شعی آ ہی میڈ دا تھنگ بیوٹیفل حسا نہ ہو سو تجوید مین ٹو میک دا قرآنک ورڈ بیوٹیفل اف ان ون لائن اور ون فریز وی وانٹ ٹو سی دا میننگ آف تجوید سو وی ووڈ سے ٹو میک دا قرآنک ورڈ beautiful and how can we make the quranic words beautiful by their good utterance according to their attributes if we utter the quranic words as they should be uttered it would be making them beautiful so if we want to give tajweed a proper definition so let's see the definition of tajweed Tajweed is a knowledge. Must have notebook and ballpoint with you. Tajweed is a knowledge. Please write down and also remember the definition. Tajweed is a knowledge in which we learn the rules. to read the quranic words beautifully according to their attributes according to their attributes now keep this word in your mind attributes each and every letter of arabic alphabet has some attributes we will discuss them in the next lecture so anyway let's elaborate the definition now tajweed is a knowledge first keep in mind it's a knowledge like mathematics and other knowledges in which we learn the rules to read the quranic words beautifully according to their attributes if you divide the definition in three four parts it will become easier for you to learn so tajweed is a knowledge in which we learn the rules to read the quranic words beautifully according to their attributes this is the definition of tajweed so subject of tajweed what is its subject its subject is quranic words important topics of tajweed the most important thing important topics of tajweed there are three most important topics in tajweed number 1 pronunciation
इट इज कॉल्ड मखारिज प्रोनाउंसिएशन इज कॉल्ड मखारिज सेकेंड मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक इज मद्दा मद्दा मीन टू स्ट्रेच आर टू प्रो लॉन्ग एंड द थर्ड मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक इज गुन्ना गुन्ना मीन टू होल्ड द साउंड ऑफ नून और मीम इन साइड द नोज फॉर अवाइल for a moment or for a while it is called gunna so these are three most important topics in tajweed what are they pronunciation makharij madda to stretch gunna to hold the sound of noon or meme inside your nose for a while so these are three most important topics of tajweed let's see the first one in detail and if you do the first one in detail you would have done 70 or 60 percent tajweed by doing the first thing and that is the first topic is pronunciation what is it called makharij for the purpose of pronunciation we would as you know there are total 29 alphabets in arabic from alif to ya total 29 so we would divide them we would make classification categories of these 29 letters for the purpose of reading the first topic of the tajweed and that is pronunciation so the first thing is under the topic of pronunciation the first thing is bold letters bold letters bold letters are called huruf e mustaliya mean heavy or bold letters heavy or bold letters which are red the letters which are pronounced with full mouth and they are total 7 kha sad dad gain ta kha zo kha sad dad gain ta kha zo these are the letters which are bold they are red they are pronounced as bold with full mouth like like kha sad dad ghain ta kha zo kha sad dad this is not right way with full mouth so they have made their combination so that they could be memorized easily and the combination is khussa dagtin quiz 
Khusa Dokht in Qiz. So that they could be memorized easily. Khusa Dokht in Qiz. These are bold letters. The second category is similar to bold letters. Similar to bold letters mean the letters which are not always bold. Sometimes they are bold, sometimes they are light, and there are only two: lam and ra. Lam and ra. We would read later on when we read them as light and when as bold. Simply, you are supposed to memorize here that similar to bold letters total are two. Then the third category is light letters. Light are lean letters which are read as light. They are opposite to heavy or bold letters, light letters. When we exclude bold and similar to bold, the remaining Twenty letters are light. They are read as light, like ba, ta, ta, jim, ha, dal, zal, za, sin. So these are let. Other than these and these, all the other letters are light. So I'm going to erase this C category. We have done the three categories. Bold letters, similar to bold, light letters. The fourth category is throttle letters. Throttle letters, as the word shows, throat from throat, which are uttered from throat. They are total six. Hamza. Ha, Ain, Ha, Gain, Kho. Hamza, Ha, Ain, Ha, Gain, Kho. These letters are called throttle letters. Always they would be uttered from throat. The next category whistle sound letters. Whistle sound letters. They are total three. Za, Sin, Sod. We are not allowed to make whistle sound in any other letter other than these three. We start doing uh, whistle in Sa as well. Sa, Sa, Sa is not right. Sa. The way to pronounce Sa is your edge of the tongue should touch the root of frontal teeth. Sa. Sa. As. Samar. As. Mara. So, we should not do whistle sound in Sa. Whistle sound is only in these three letters. Za. Sin. Sod. As. As. Ad, sorry, us. So, if you want to check the place of pronunciation of any letter, you put Hamza before it and make the letter silent, like Ra, R, like Sin, make Us, Aj, Akko, in this way. So, whistle sound letters are three Za, Sin, Sod. The next category is Kalkala letters. This is very important. Kalkala letters, echoing letters. In which we do echo. And they are total. Of 
बाजीम दाल देर कॉम्बिनेशन इज कुतुबू जद्दीन कुतुबू जद्दीन कौफ तोबा जीम दाल वी वाइल रीडिंग दीज लेटर्स वी शुड मेक अ लिटल बिट मूवमेंट एज वेल वेन दे आर साइलेंट we read them as we are doing a little bit movement as well like a uh, one way is without doing kalkala is ak ak to ak this is wrong we should do kalkala here and kalkala mean akko 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 tub aqad like at at amahum ab abjad अज अज इज नॉट राइट अज अज दास अद दाल अद अद इज नॉट राइट अद कुल हु अल्लाह अहद अल्लाह सोमद कुल अऊज बिरबिल फलक कौफ फलक को दिस इज ए को दीज आर कलकला लेटर्स सो दीज आर दी कैटेगरीज यूर सपोज टू रीड in the last category we may say lips letters lips letters are ba mim waw and fa so now let's do some practice in the end hola qa रजा and qaf are bold khala qa ra za qa now the rule of ra if ra has zabar or pesh it would be bold if ra has zair it would be light likewise if ra is silent then we would see the letter before ra if the letter before has zabar or pesh it would be bold same if the letter before ra silent is having zair then it would be light this is the rule of ra so ra za qa fa la a kha za a is light kha is bold and zal is again light a kha za za zal without whistle sound just like we learned to read the sa akhaza akhaza warasa sa warasa warasa hasada hasada ha from throat and seen with whistle sound hasada abada ain from middle of throat abada abada so this is the first important topic of tajweed pronunciation alhamdulillah we have done this and inshallah in next class we will do the next important topic of tajweed and that is madda so by doing this we have done 50 more than 50% of tajweed inshallah see you in the next class